everyone this is the face behind the camera welcome back to my channel today I will show you how I recycle a tea box into a new box this is the box that I am talking about see how rugged looking actually this is an instant Korean ginseng box and I am already using it I am a teacher and you know having little stuff to put inside this box to make it useful and I want to modify this into a new one by adding beads I have the different colors of the beads different sizes this one is available in Hobby Lobby and I love this color look how shiny it is this is not expensive this is a cheap one I also have the different colors that I know will make that box beautiful in the different shades that I have here this is the original container of these beads I just bought it mixed together and I separated them by colors putting them in a ziplock I will also be using E6000 glue you can also use the Gorilla Glue so the very first thing that I want to do with my box is measure get the center on all sides from the top and the four sides of the box so I will be covering one two three four four sides and the top with a different color of beads I will be using a ruler to make markings and I decided to do it from the center like that that way when I add my beads I can make it as a guide on how it will look like in my box so like that let's start the working you know I am a teacher and I love to do little things especially when it comes to art it diverts my mind from teaching and from doing art that I love the most if you will notice I also created this one since I am teaching online I made this a, a beautiful background behind me uh, this paper is available also in Hobby Lobby it's square sizes but then I cut into the diagonal and connected the different colors of paper so that makes my background so every time I'm doing my online class that's the one that they are seeing at my back alright guys I want you to see the progress of my work Look how I did it. I started at the center. That way it's easier for me to balance my designs. So after this column, maybe going to the edge of this box, I will be applying different sizes. I don't have enough size for this particular uh, beads that I started at the center of my box. I will be using also different sizes that way I will have variety of those beads on top of my box
this is now the finished product. So when I started working on this one, I showed you where I'm gonna be starting at the middle where I made rows of flowers. But then when it comes to the sides, look, I glued first the different sizes, different colors of flowers, and the same on the other side. And after putting all the flowers, I filled out spaces with a different color of beads that will make my flowers shine. So the same way when I made the sides. Oh, one more thing that I added. If you notice this little pink one, I added it that way it's easier for me to lift. So it's kind of a little handle. So by the way, I want to I want you guys to see another box that I have. Look at this one. When my friend noticed that I was doing this one, she emptied this. I know she still have like maybe more or less uh, 10 tea bags. She emptied it and she gave it to me. So the next time you will see me guys working on this one again, but I will not be using beads. I will be using a different style. So if you like the video that I made for my box, Please click like and subscribe and I will see you again on my next video.